and I took a spool, which I thought was $10, up to the uh, cash register, and she told me that I had to have it cut. I couldn't just uh, buy the spool, and she didn't know how much the spool was, and that ain't nobody got time to wait in line when there's 10 ladies waiting to have their fabric cut. Hey guys, what's going on? Today, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something cool in my car, which I saw in another video a long time ago. So let's just say it's craft day. No, I'm just kidding, it's not craft day. But I have a problem in my surveillance vehicle that I gotta fix today because um, it's making me paranoid every time I'm out, on there, out there on surveillance. And uh, when that happens, I feel like I just can't do my job correctly, or, or, or at least the best that I can. So I'm gonna show you something real quick. I'm gonna show you what my problem is. Okay, so when I do surveillance, I, I have limo tint all across here. And even though this is li limo tint, um, because there's so much light coming in from the front of the windows, uh, even with my blinders on, um, I can't seem to um, uh, I, I can't seem to block out enough light in here to keep silhouettes from happening. Seeing it being able to look all the way through the front of the vehicle. And even when you look in the back of the vehicle here, which everything's dirty now, but you can still, you might not be able to see it, but you can still see silhouettes. And I got to get rid of that because I just want to eliminate any issue with me sitting in the back of my van and people bothering me. As you're here, We're looking at about 62 inches, just a little over five feet here. All right, so we're gonna go to Home Depot. We're gonna go to a craft store. Probably go to the craft store first because I know that the, uh, the Home Depot thing will be easy and uh, we'll get our supplies. just arrived at uh, Joanne's, I think it's fabric store, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, um, gonna go get some fabric, uh, probably like a thick needle and thread. I don't know, I don't do this kind of stuff, so we're gonna figure it out. I think I found what I'm looking for here. It's like a black sheet. It's pretty durable. And it's $10. Okay, so change of plans, Joann's fabrics. So I know nothing about getting fabric. And I took a spool, which I thought was $10, up to the uh, cash register. And she told me that I had to have it cut. I couldn't just uh, buy the spool and she didn't know how much the spool was and that ain't nobody got time to wait in line when there's 10 ladies waiting to have their fabric cut. All right, I just arrived at Goodwill, gonna see if I can find a black sheet and needle and thread. Maybe they have it, I don't know. Right, just leaving uh, Goodwill and I walked away with a curtain for four bucks so I don't know I might just cut it in half and sew it I ah, will figure it out okay so we're almost at Home Depot I had to make a little pit stop to pick up this guy and uh, we're gonna go get the, the shower curtain rod and, uh, and then we'll take it home and at some point today we'll, we'll get it going together. So 
uh, that's the plan. Gotten a little distracted. Spend about 15 bucks or so to get one. So that's not bad, right? Alright everybody, so I ended up getting a panel. Um ended up getting a panel at uh, the Goodwill for like four dollars, which is much better than it would have been at the uh Joanne's fabric store anyway, so and it didn't take me that long. And I got the uh rod. Um, from Home Depot for like $14. Um, so that was still a good deal too. And this will expand enough. This is uh, 43 inches to 72 inches. That covers what I need to extend it. So this, uh, this curtain is not going to be big enough to, it's not going to be big enough to cover, to cover everything. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to cut this bad boy in half. Okay, so I cheated a little bit on this. I thought I was gonna have to sew. I was mentally prepared to sew, but I just cut into a different part of this uh, other half that I cut off, uh, which I think was the top. And I don't know, man. Then there was already there was already a, uh, a place to put this in over here on this curtain. So I just I just cut one panel in half, uh, and it just seemed to work out. And I. Heck, if I don't have to sew anything, then I call that a good day, right? All right, so if I was to extend it out here, it is not pretty, folks, but I can peek in through here now, see what's going on. This will go against my windows. In the morning, I will uh, shoot some video and show you what the final product is. So, 
So, so my wife uh, came in uh, when I was uh, just getting ready to shoot this video, at least the uh, the making of the curtain, and she said, "You're gonna make it." I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna make it for uh, you know an inexpensive way to to make these curtains." And she said, "Can't they just go out and buy them?" I said, "Yeah, I guess." Alrighty, so I've got my curtain and now we just need to see if it works so let's uh let's figure this out so the whole point of this is to darken this area and so we're gonna unscrew it here oops end it and get it against the windows there and twist down it right oh it's not working there we go I'm going to change it up. <laughs> I'm going to put it down on the hooks here. See if that works. Because my window is a little bit too curved. Okay. And I think that actually, it actually works better. So. There's no glare, there's no, there's not going to be any way for anybody to see through here now, through the back window. And hopefully, it makes things darker for people looking through the front window. So, I'm going to take you around real quick. Here's a little, give you an idea of what it looks like back here. Um, I could probably just sit here and just kind of put it, drape it over my knees. Or I can get in the back seat where my son is sitting. And I could in training and videotape from there comfortably and uh, on when I'm ready just can open up the curtains here and shoot up to the front seat and do what I got to do uh, so I want you stand back there I'm gonna close the curtain I'm gonna see if I can see you how about that yeah, yeah. all right so that's kind of what it looks like so well, I definitely cannot see back there anymore. Uh, I know it's, you probably couldn't see back there on the camera anyways, but it should make things darker. Uh, definitely made things darker. It's not impossible to see through my tent when I go up face forward like that. Let's see if there's... And, oh, wow, this is awesome. Okay. So, you cannot see any... Um, any silhouettes at all now it's actually perfect so now I'm gonna be a lot happier uh, when I go out there this weekend and do my surveillance and uh, give it a shot make yourself a makeshift curtain here go to Goodwill and uh, just figure it out get yourself a pole and uh, the curtain and you'll be good to go so that's it for now hope you enjoy the video later <laughs>